What's going on, everybody? How's everybody doing? Well, it's just, uh, the it's uh, the week of Halloween, and uh, we're gonna go paint that gate. And I got my little jumpsuit on because we're also gonna be spraying the pergola, and the uh, overspray will be coming down on me. So I got a little little suit here, which is appropriate for the hollow. Halloween, Halloween, um, and um, but yeah, you know, as rumor says it that uh, Halloween was based on some kind of um, um, what you might call it. Uh, people would dress up in costumes to confuse the spirits and ghosts or whatever, as the story goes. Well, that's how Halloween started. But anyway, uh, we're gonna go up and. Um, and paint or stain a gate, stain a pergola, and um, we won't be installing the fan. So today it'll just be uh, on how to stain a gate, how I do it. Um, I also did a, a huge monster deck, um, and I did it all by hand. So if you want to check out that video, just go back and some of my videos and. Yeah, it was a three-tier monster deck, and it was all done by hand. So this is a small job, and I'm doing it by spray. So versus spraying versus uh, brushing and rolling, um, there's pros and cons on both. Okay. So the only reason I'm doing it with the sprayer is because I can get, I can probably roll it and brush it just as fast, but I want to be able to get the stain in some of the nooks and crannies. And that's why we're going to spray, and I'll show you how I spray this, uh, this, this gate and this little pergola that we did some repair on. Okay, so see you up there, and enjoy the little intro, okay? Time to scare somebody. Maybe my daughter. I gotta go hide. doing some work, getting some stuff done. Who the heck is that? Kira, there's somebody in my yard. Oh my God. Don't hang up, I need you to stay on the phone. Oh my God, he's coming towards me. What do I do? Oh my God, he's following me. Pumpkin. Here. Not my phone. <laughs> Wait. Let me help you. Ready? One, two, three. Beat it. Good job. Hey, everybody. Goodbye, Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Hope you like this video. And it's going to be a good one. Okay? That was our little intro. And hope you like our video. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. We're here. I want to show you real quick. These um, extension cords. What I like to do is I'll just put them out there like this. Like this. A lot of you guys know this trick, but what I find out is when I'm painting, a lot of times the uh, it'll unplug and I'm up on a ladder or whatever. So this is a good way to uh, make a little knot there so we don't get unplugged. And I do the same on the gun. So 
Let's see if you can see it. Roll those off. Roll them up together like this. Twist them together. But this dog here, like I said before, he had came through the fence, and I'll show you in a second. A little pit bull there. Okay. Well, let's see. We got some treats here that the owner left me because I'll show you. They got a Rottweiler also. This is the pit bull. So I got some treats here. Want a treat? Hey, hey, you got to be quiet. You want a treat? You want a treat? You got to be quiet. Hey, hey. Here, here. She actually came right through that fence. Bailed right through it. So I got to be careful with her. And they also have a Rottweiler. Owner told me that they came through. And the dog was standing in his kitchen. So he gave me the treats just in case. I don't know if it's gonna help, but anyway. So we have our stain here. Uh, not a perfect match, it was a leftover. But uh, this is, uh, it's a semi-solid, which this is the color, which kind of matches that, kind of. We'll see, okay, so I need a screwdriver. I'm not gonna pour here, I'll pour out there in the grass. But anyway, just to give you. And yeah, I need a new liner. But we'll see if the sprayer, the uh, the Flexo, the Wagner that I had, um, whatever reason, it did not want to spray. I tested it at the house, so. Not a sponsor of this one here, but this one has been pretty reliable, the gray coat. Anyway. Uh, let me get a screwdriver and see if do this on the grass because I don't want to make a mess. The dog will not stop messing with us, so we're just gonna fill this thing up and we'll just go into a little bit of time lapse and music because she'll do that all day. You know, so, let's see what we got going on here with stain. I haven't used this in a while. And I should be wearing the gloves because stain, um, it's a little bit, a little bit more uh, runny. Let's see if we can pour this out in there. Pull it right up. So the uh, we'll make sure that we won't hit that or knock it over with these. Uh, uh, I'm already getting stain all over me. What I mean about the gloves, you just get some rags. Ugh. So, keep enough rags, paper towels. Hey, like, uh, hey, 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 stop. I said, cut it out. Sometimes you gotta show these guys who's the boss. If you're afraid of them, they will know. They will come after you. So, approach a dog like that, you, uh, you kind of want to show them who's boss, but at the same time, you don't want to stare them in the face. Because they can get mean, especially those pit bulls. So with this setup here, hope you can see everything that I'm doing. I'll squeeze all the air out of it. And there it is. Okay. Make sure that's locked in good. And then we'll go into a primer mode.
we go into we go into a spray mode. My hands are already sticky. There it goes. Okay, flip this thing around for spray. Let's see. Oh, okay. So I got two extension cords. I'm gonna pull them through the through the pergola here. Hey, didn't I tell you to calm down? One more treat and that's it. You better stop. Hey. I don't think the treats are gonna help. Here, be good. Go, go. Go get that treat. She's not even interested in the treats anymore. Want to tear me up. All right, let's see what we got. So what I'd like to do is probably start with these tail ends. And when I get to the uh, the inside here, I'd like to spray from the top down first. Well, let's see what we got. Okay. Still got a little splatter, but. I have another tip. Might have to change the tip. All right. I got a smaller tip, but so what I meant by having a a roller and a brush helps. So have that with you and. Uh, I just don't want any runs, you know? Just don't want any runs. So, what I like to do is, I'll use the spray, and then I'll also cut in, you know? Make sure I don't have any runs. And there we go. Okay, it looks like the dog quieted down for a minute. And um, so this is a number 12, it's the black tip. Uh, not sure the actual size of the, the, the sprayer itself, but it's a 12. The other one's gray, it spray a little more. This one sprays more finer and a smaller mist. So that's what we want. And also it looks like I got semi stain. That's a solid stain. Well, we're gonna do it anyway. They were okay with it. Um, they just wanted to get some kind of stain on there. Um, you can always go darker. The dog again, this dog. Now, what the dog is doing, she's learning that if she barks at me, I'm gonna throw a treat over there. We're not gonna do that. So she can bark all she wants. All right, so let me, uh, let me suit up. I think the dog thinks I'm a giant marshmallow.
just wanted to explain a little bit why I was going spraying and then backtracking um, and brushing out because this stain will run on you uh, if you get too much on there. It's hard to see when you're spraying the stain upward and all the spray is coming down. Like everything is sticky. My glasses, so that's why <laughs> you definitely need the suit. And what I do is I'll go, uh, I'll go like six or eight between between six and eight feet, and then what I'll do is I'll go back backtrack, see where I have any runs, and just brush it right into that wood. Um, but. The more it dries, the darker it gets, which is pretty close to what the color is on here. But this is more like a solid stain. I have a semi-solid stain. Same color, but it's a semi. Um, but um, that's why I'm applying enough on here where I just go back and brush, um, back brush on it. and Because uh, I want to make sure that I have good, good amount of stain on there to protect the wood. We don't we want to protect the wood from what happened before which was a lot of rot and that's why um, but I'm hoping with that half a gallon that I can finish this and we can get to that gate okay all right let me get back to it I got to still do a little bit of cleaning up I clean up as I go I have a, a paint thinner it's not like alcohol it's not a, a very um, very uh, strong um, you can use that for uh, thinning out paints and it's it's almost like a probably it's probably a mix with either mineral spirits i don't know what the chemical uh compounds are in it but it's not as strong as like it will dry your hands out it's you can use that as a thinner and as a cleaner but uh yeah so i have my other tip here and when you're spraying especially with this kind of material you got to keep your tips clean basically all day long as you go and if you stop for any amount of time, take the tip out of the gun, clean it, and then put it back in the gun. Otherwise, you're going to get clogged and spitting and everything else. Okay.
Okay, so, so far the sun is in my eyes over here, and um, what we're going to do is, I only have a quart left, so I'm hoping to do this gate, and whatever is left over, we're going to go and finish that off, and do the touch-ups, all with the quart, so, we got this gate here, at least we're out of the sun, okay, let me get something, I'll put something on the grass. Eh. Yeah, let me put a tarp there. Something. Yeah. Plastic here. I hate to ruin a good piece of plastic, but you gotta do that. Let's see what we got. See what I mean by tying the knot? Tying the knot on your cord like that works really well. You won't be unplugging everywhere, which that happens to me a lot. Well, not a lot, not lately. <laughs> All right, let's see.
Gate is done. Now he's got some protection there. The color's a little different, but, you know, like I said, you know, it was, uh, stain is expensive and this, uh, job we're on a budget. So now, let me, uh, let's take a walk over there. I know the sun's gonna be like right in front of us. The sun is gonna blind us. We're gonna try. Do some touch-ups. A little touch up here on this one. There we go. Like that. You know, I got to save a little bit for those tail ends. It's on there, it's on there. We're running out of stain. Alrighty. Oof, we just made it. Anyway, guys, we do some touch ups, clean up. We're good to go. Got a touch up over there. A couple of these ends. And there's an end over there I gotta hit. hit. But I gotta do that one by hand. This one I'm gonna hit again. This is the original one, but I'm gonna hit it again. Oh, there it is, guys. All stained up. That one there, hit it again. Whatever I got left, I'm not gonna stop until I run out of stain. All right, guys, sun's going down. Um, I still got my sprayer I gotta clean, and my face is red, and it's not because of the sun, it's because I got stain all over me and even my glasses so and i ruined a bunch of them before but anyway so we'll start with cleaning this and i'm going to show you how i clean my gun um here's what it looks like after the effect it looks pretty bad so let's see if we can get this uh get this sprayer cleaned out it's too fresh here but anyway hope you enjoyed the video uh, probably gonna need some uh, safety glasses. So the idea with this thing here is we'll run the um, we'll run the cleaner at least twice. Get all the air out. So I'm gonna spit out. Bam. Take care of your gun. Otherwise, next time you use it, you won't have any problems. See how it's coming clean? So, I'm gonna do that a couple more times. All right, so did I get the air up? Yes. So we'll primer it again. We'll shoot, stream.
fairly good. Anyway, so, but already, one time around, looking pretty good again. Okay, I still got to clean all this canister stuff. I'm going to run it through whatever I got left here. Probably change the liner, hang liner. So, a few more, still sticky here. But that uh, paint cleaner works really well. Cleans uh, latex and oil all in one step. Latex and oil, base paint, all in one step. So, and it's supposed to be good for your sprayers. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you had a lot of fun watching this video. Um, I certainly did wearing this little monkey suit. Um, Mr. Matt Skills, I painted this on here. Anyway, uh, we still got a little bit more work on that pergola. We're probably gonna, uh, everything is everything is based on, on the budget. So we're gonna be installing, hopefully we'll be installing the fan, um, maybe some lattice or something on top. Um, but I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Smash that like button, uh, comment, subscribe if you want. And uh, we'll see what's next. Uh, and I think there might be some more tiling, which I like doing. Uh, that'll be coming up, okay? So thanks again for watching. Appreciate you watching my videos. Thank all of you. And um, see you at the next job.